Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do some spinning 3D text in Blender, like this. I'll show you one more time. Okay, so let's get cracking and do this video. Okay, so open Blender. This is your default screen, just click somewhere in the grey. The cube is your default object, so just Press delete on your keyboard and press enter, we don't want the cube. Go to your create tab on the side, scroll down to text. And then you see it created some text for you. Okay, so to rotate this upwards so that the text stands up, press R on your keyboard and then X on your keyboard and then 90. And then enter. So that rotated it 90 degrees on the X axis. Um, Press zero on your number pad. That's our camera view, so I just want to quickly fix that. Um, press N on your keyboard. On this, these are your camera settings. Uh, so just click on lock camera to view this box here, yeah? and then you can press N again. Then press your middle mouse button and just rotate so that the text is more or less in the middle here. Yeah? can zoom in a bit, scrolling up and down with our little mouse button. So I position it about probably there for now. And then to edit the text, we can just right click on it and then go to this, click on this F tab. So these are your text properties. To write, to be able to type in a different word here, you have to make sure your text is selected and on this tab at the bottom here, object mode, click on that and change that to edit mode. Then you can just type in anything you want, your name or whatever your text you want and then click back on object mode. Um, on my text properties here, I'm just going to move down and just center that. Um, I'm going to zoom in a bit again, holding your shift button and your little mouse button and then you can just sort of center that text a bit. Um, press 7 on your number pad, you can see the text has no depth to it, so if you click on the text again, um, to get some depth to it, you can just type in a number here, yeah, I'm just going to go over. 0.05 um, so you can see it's got some depth to it now um, these straight lines sharp straight lines to get rid of that you got your bevel here you can set that to about 5 and then to round it out you can just set this to 5 so you can play around with your depth and resolution under bevel to make these edges a bit smoother to give your text the color now, you go on your materials tab over here, click on new, click somewhere in this white space, its default is white, I'm just going to make it red, and then press F12, so that's what my camera view looks like now, this is what my preview is going to look like, um, press a escape to get out of that. Um, press zero. I'm going to move this over, this text over just a little bit. So there. Um, okay, so press seven on your number pad, zoom out a bit. This light we want to move to about the same position. Just right click on it and then just use these arrows to move it to just in front of press three on your number pad, now you can see how high it is, this is your side view, okay that looks okay, so it's just in front of the camera, so press F12 again, and you can see the, the, there's more light on it now, you can see it takes a lot better, press escape, if you want to change the background, um, of the, if you press F12 again, this grey colour here, yeah? If you want to change that, press escape, go to your wall tab here, that's the color it is default, 
um, default it is on the gray color. I, I just want to make it black. So I'm just moving the slider down to black. And then if I press F12 now, you'll see the background is black. So escape again. Press, F, press 7, I mean, just on your number pad. We're going to animate the sticks now to spin. So right click on the sticks. To animate something, we can just go to this animation tab on the side. Um, this is your time timeline at the bottom here. So this is basically going from frame 0 to frame 250. Um, so we're going to just make the sticks rotate in this direction. Just want to scroll up. So it's going to rotate along the Z axis. So to animate that, just go insert rotation and then you'll see it put in a yellow line there. That's where the keyframe is and that's the starting keyframe to start the animation and then you have to just set the point where you want it to stop. So I'm just going to take it to 100 and then I have to actually put the movement in that I wanted to do, so I can just press R and then Z, and then I'm just going to spin it around like once, and then left click again, um, and then you go to insert keyframe, insert rotation. So now it's basically going to start rotating it from there to there basically so to see that you just um, set your green line to the beginning again just click on those arrows there and then click on your play button and you can see it's rotating now and it will there's no animation after frame 100 so it just stops basically at frame 100 Okay, so that's basically done. Now to create a little video of this, uh, we can go to this camera tab here. Set your resolution to 100% here. Uh, this is your size of your, of your screen basically for your video. So to change that you can, there's different presets here. These are your frames. Our animation just goes to 100, so I'm going to set the end frame to about frame 105. And then set to 24 frames per second. That's fine. Um, if we move down, this is where it's going to save your, your file, your video file. Just click on that arrow. I'm going to just, I think I'll just save it onto the desktop. Um, and I'll just give it a name here. Yeah. Explaining text, say accept, and then your settings. Uh, these are going to make PNG files of every frame, so that will produce uh, 105 PNG files. But we just want a little video, so we're going to set that to set it to H264, and then under encoding, we can choose what you want here. Yeah, I normally just choose MPEG4, and then we can just leave the other things to default, and then just go up here to render, and then say render animation. And then it's basically creating your video for you. So this is going to take some time. I'll just stop the video here and come back when it's done. Okay guys, so my video is done rendering. Um, you can just press right click somewhere and press escape. Um, I actually forgot to save this file. So let's just to save it, this job, this project. Or you can just go and can save that the file save as and then just choose somewhere and then um, just give it a name and I'll just call it to um, so you just choose a location and then save it give it a name and then 
can just save the blender file. So to view my video now, I'm just going to minimize this. Um, the, the, the video file of the uh, my up, I selected it to save the video here. Yeah? So you can just open that. You can see what it looks like. And there we go. So that's basically how you do just a simple spinning text animation in Blender. Um, so if you like the video, just click on like and subscribe to the channel and we'll put on more stuff soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now. Bye.